So we've been walking around Hanoi and it's one of the lakes, there's so many lakes. <laughs> we've been wearing these for protection because uh, Hanoi is right on the border of China and uh, with the coronavirus and we're just making sure we're safe. And you see I'm not the only one wearing it. Everyone is wearing masks. It's silkworm. Is that for it? Yeah. Honestly, they're, they're dead. They're not still alive. <laughs> playing sports and kicking little, I don't know what they call that thing. It's like badminton but with your feet cool. and no net. Uh, this is the famous lake in the centre of uh, Hanoi that people are all out walking the paths and streets. Dung Sung uh, one market. of the biggest wholesale market in Hanoi Old Quarter. Uh, it's very beautiful wet market with vegetables, with the fish, with the fruit. Yeah, on in something else. Right. We go next. All right, let's go. This is turtle. The shell on the back very soft. Right. The eat for popcorn. The spicy popcorn and banana and turtle. Oh. Oh, 
here's where the adventure tour starts of the street food. Uh, I'm now about to eat beef bane. So this is the main straight from the cow. It's been fried. That's what it looks like. Dip it in that. Okay, here we go. Good. It's just chewy. It's like a gristle. Eating just shrimp. Shrimp, just shrimp, but it's ground up with the butt, with the shell and everything. Okay, this is pretty easy. Not much I haven't eaten like this before. You've got to wash it in here after I dropped it on the table. <laughs> so you wash it if you drop things. Okay, here you go. like eating a prawn that's um, been wrapped in a bit of rice paper and a little bit of spice on it. Great. This one here I'm eating is fermented pork and pork wrapped in pork skin. So there you go. This is uh, another fair income adventure on street foods in Hanoi. eaten fermented fish before. It's a little bit more richer. Um, but once again it's not horrible. It's quite quite tasty. Can I have a try? I just want to show you what's inside this. And inside that there is the fermented pork. It's not been cooked or anything. It's just fermented for seven weeks and then wrapped inside this with um, green papaya, some, a little bit of pork skin and some herbs. I love your face on this. I've got you video and you're like... <laughs> yeah, <it's real. laughs> yeah. You know, one thing uh, I really like, Moon, is nothing goes to waste. Yeah, you eat everything. Everything. Beef. Oh wow. Yeah, beef. Hot pot, stir fry. One because before we go, we buy the head already. Ah. Oh. Yeah. We, we missed the head. It's what okay. a shame. Out. We're too late. Ah. This one here is goose egg. Uh, this is your normal chicken egg. That one up there was duck, duck, egg. duck egg. This is quail egg. So these here are embryo eggs. So full duck embryo. And you can notice they're actually like slightly green, that is how you can tell they're the embryo egg. One of my 
I'm about to try is char roi. What that is, it's worms. Where they get them from the river, they come up, and they're quite a fat worm like that. And what, what they do is they then mix it up with a bit of pork, a bit of egg yolk, and some dill. And then they fry it, as you've just seen before. Okay. It goes me first time at the worms. You know, if you didn't tell me I was eating worms, I would go, this is like a, a pork mint fry with a bit of dill and a bit of spice in it. But my brain's telling me, no, it's not. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. Beer Street. No traffic until midnight. Ah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hot Pot is Moon's favourite. We've had Hot Pot back in Australia, but uh, Hot Pot here in Vietnam would be probably amazing. So, Hot Pot fish. And um, the broth comes from the vinegar, yeah. vinegar, fish sauce, and yeah. That looks amazing. Yeah, banana, shrimp. Wow. Very good, shrimp, yeah. So this is locally brewed beer and there's lots of street corners that sell it, the locals come down and have a drink. It's actually brewed overnight um, and it's only about 2 or 3% alcohol. So yeah, a nice light drink the locals enjoy in the evening. Uh, this is actually one of the best places to come and have it because they use bottled water um, instead of tap water. So it's much safer to drink. Anyway, try it. We have here a snail and it's from the rice paddies. Uh, so they're very clean. Um, one of the ones in Australia, you just all slimy and horrible. You wouldn't even think about buying them. Dipping sauces. This one is great. A bit of chili. First taste is snails in Vietnam. I don't want to say it, but have you ever picked your nose before <laughs> and put it in somewhere where you should not have put it? <laughs> Tastes nothing like it apparently. Some of your friends still will go for another one. First thing I see on the menu, you go, yes, nails, that's exactly what I want to eat. This is what I was feeling like tonight. You know, if you go into McDonald's and you saw a McDonald's burger, you know, Big Mac, and there were snails, I think you'd probably go to Big Mac. So here we have some clams. And a really beautiful broth with um, lemongrass and chili and pineapple, uh, a bit of basil, it's got all those flavours in it, it's 
fresh, it's light. It's really, really tasty. What do you think of the clams? That is just goodness in a shell. That's what that is. Beautiful. I can now lead all day, no problem. We've been walking the streets of the old quarter and um, it seems really busy for us but Moon's saying that the tourism has been dropped heaps because of the coronavirus. So normally it's even busier than what it is now, hey? Yep, yep. So it's pretty amazing to think, you know, because when I look around I see so many tourists here already. And I can see why people come to explore Hanoi and Vietnam. There's literally so much to see. 